joined by Steve from Surprise Attacks. Hello, Mr. Hello, how are you doing? I'm pretty good, thanks. Mr. Jason, how are you? I'm very, very good. Now, you guys have three main games you guys are showing. You have a few more than that, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got quite a few here at PAX. So, first off, we're showing an invisible hand. It's the first time it's been in Australia. It's basically Papers, Please meets the stock market. That was what I got from it. When I saw it, I'm like, glory to our Tosca. Yeah, right? yeah. So, a little bit of Patrick Bateman in there without yeah. the murder, you know, but basically, you are you're using information from the real world to influence your stock trading, and then that changes the real world. So, there could be riots, depending if people can't afford food because you're ruining things. Uh, so that's like, you know, a bit of a comment on consumerism and stuff like that. I mean, look, and that was the great thing about Papers, Please. It was a great game that just happened to have a really political message. And it seems like this is similar. That's right. We're definitely taking more of a uh, tongue-in-cheek tone than, you know, sad, my family can't afford to eat. Yeah, um, oh, but yeah, you know, thanks just, for bringing the mood down. Yeah, sorry, but you know, we're we're taking a look at that, and um, it's hopefully coming out early next year. So that's and cool. a similar kind of series, man. You've got all well as well, the expansion. Yeah, that's right. We've got the expansion called Ignorance of Strength. It runs alongside, uh, parallel to the original. Nice. Um, it's going to be uh, shorter in terms. Of it's got three episodes, but each episode has way more content in it. Um, this time, instead of just dragging stuff into people's profiles, you're using information you know about them to search for them in like Twitter clients to break into their phones because you're getting passwords from birthdays and people's email addresses and stuff like that um, and there's a lot less hand holding so it's way easier to fail there's way more to digest and your decisions have way more weight this time and lastly we've got is it genesis noir on the end genesis noir is a brand new one it's the first time we've ever shown it uh, it's a cosmic point and click adventure about the big bang but the big bang is a fight between three gods and the bang was a shot your girlfriend has been shot so you're going through space and time to try and save her but if you do the creation of the universe is in jeopardy uh, it has an amazing art style it's from a team over in New York we're working with. It's coming to Kickstarter pretty soon and then we'll be getting involved in some capacity afterwards. Is there anything else I'm missing that I've forgotten? Oh, you've got to think of the children over here, which is causing a storm. You know, everyone loves being a parent and looking after their kids a day at the beach. It's we'll... a little bit overcooked with a, a little bit more child murder. Yeah, just a, just a you know, dash, just yeah. a dash. Um, and we're also at Dungeon League back here, which is looking better than ever. Uh, we're really close to the release on that one, so I, you know, everyone should check it out right now. So. Awesome, Steve. As always, it's a pleasure to see you, and there are some really cool games you guys have at the moment. Awesome, man. Always happy to chat.